Girl, no ma'am. Hold on, girl. I'm coming, Miss Day. Hold on. Girl. So my legal team has reached out to Walmart. We are waiting on a response. I need to spill the tea on another Another dumb company that's selling fake Jeffrey makeup, girl. The lawsuits don't stop. The lawsuits don't stop. What's going on everyone? It's Rich Lux in today's video, girl. Oh my gosh. Drama. Literally, just so much drama right now. This eyelash cannot handle the drama, girl. She can't take it, girl. She can't take the drama. She gonna fall off, girl, any minute now. And then, the, girl, you already know, the eyelash falls off and then the cat comes and eats it, girl. Girl, the beauty community. The beauty community. Harder. It shook harder. Yesterday, I, I, had a, I had a bag away from the computer. It was too much to handle, girl. Oh my gosh. Girl, check out this Gucci highlighter. $5,000. Check out this highlight, girl. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It's the one with the butterfly on it. Girl. It's the one with the butterfly on it, girl, but you can't see it because I already used it. Jeffree Star shook the house, girl. Jeffree Star is shook the house, Miss Thing. Love her so much. Okay. Let me back up for those of you who don't know. Yeah, hold on, girl, I'm trying to be a woman. I got covered up. Girl, okay, yesterday I posted a video. Video. And in the video, I talked about Jeffree Star's makeup being sold at Walmart, right? Girl, Jeffree Star, I guess, I don't know, I guess. She claims she's been known for weeks. Weeks. She's been knowing this information. But the day I dropped my video, the day she wants to talk about it, girl, I don't believe it. I love Jeffree Star so much. I think she saw my video. Love you, girl. And then discovered that Walmart being shady the house and selling her makeup, girl. Well, Jeffree Star called her lawyers, girl. Yes, ma'am. Well, and they sent over a cease and desist to Walmart or else Jeffree was gonna sue them the house, girl. Can you imagine if Jeffree Star would have sued and won? It would have been called Jeffree Mart. Can you imagine all the stuff they would sell at Jeffrey Mart? Gucci this, Gucci that, girl, the world, okay? Anyways, it would be like, Jeffrey Mart would be like Neiman's and Sat, Bloomingdale's, but they also have like a grocery section. Oh my gosh, can you imagine a store that has like organic food, organic everything, healthy food on one side, and then fashion designer stuff on the other side? Girl! You can get your organic apples, your organic soup, girl, and then walk on over to the other side and get your old little cute Gucci shirt, girl, and not bother the how. That is cute, girl. Come on, Jeffrey Mart. Well, anyways, I checked it this morning, girl. Walmart.com, love it so much, has taken down the Jeffrey makeup from Walmart.com. It's not there no more. However, you already know there's more drama. Guess who's still on the website, girl? Let me click. Busted ass girl, Kylie Cosmetics on Walmart.com, girl. Walmart.com is selling Kylie Cosmetics. Girl, the ma'am. You know what this proves to me, honestly? Okay. This proves to me that Jeffree Star cares about his makeup and Kylie, not bother. Kylie Cosmetics can care less, girl, because if she cared, Kylie Cosmetics would have her makeup pulled of Walmart, too. But no, Kylie's too booked to be bothered. Barefoot and pregnant, can't keep a man. Kylie Jenner, because you know that boy ain't, you know that boy don't want to be with her, girl, no man. And like I said the other day, I said Kylie Jenner has enough money, she can raise a baby on her own. I know some of you in the comments, the point the extras, girl, well, it's not. You don't know anything about being pregnant. It's hard. Girl, okay? I understand. Even though she has all the money in the world, okay? I understand that it's hard being, what, 19, 20, raising a baby on your own. Okay, yeah, okay, I get it, okay? But let's just be honest, girl. The average 19, 20-year-old who's pregnant doesn't have a couple million dollars in the bank to hire nannies, girl, so she can get some sleep, okay? Come on. 
Hardest thing about raising this baby, in my opinion, my conspiracy allegedly, is that you hardly get any sleep because the damn baby's always damn crying. You gotta be up and holding that rock and it just, ugh, okay? But you have a nanny girl, okay, you get you some good sleep. Anyways, I digress. Kylie Cosmetics makeup is on walmart.com, clock at the house. Last time I checked, fat ass is allowed to have an opinion. And the last time I checked, as of right now, Kylie Cosmetics makeup is on walmart.com. The American walmart.com. And we'll see, we'll see if Kylie Cosmetics takes it down too. If not, this proves to me Kylie don't even care, girl. Kylie does not care one bit. Well, anyways, back to Jeffree Star loves to match. So he saw that his makeup was on Walmart. He got very upset. He took to Snapchat, girl, and this is what he had to say. Diva, you ready for the tea? You guys. All right. So I've been getting hundreds and hundreds of tweets over the last week that Walmart is selling fake Jeffree Star cosmetics. <sighs> All right. So I logged into Walmart.com, and yes, they are allowing third party companies to submit fake cosmetics to their website and they are allowing it to be sold which is so illegal so just so you guys know since i've started my brand there has been a lot of companies that make fakes now what is the dangers and the problems with fake makeup all right so quick backstory for the last two years we have been fighting counterfeit makeup it comes from china it has very unsafe ingredients and we've actually been a part of several Several FBI stings where they have arrested people at the airport who have hundreds and thousands of dollars of fake makeup in their suitcases. They try to smuggle it. They ship it illegally. It is such a crazy, huge problem in the beauty industry. Now, I have seen reports of them doing lab tests where once they have tested these fake makeup, now it doesn't have to be my, my brand. I've seen fake Kylie, fake Anastasia, fake Morphe, fake JSC everywhere. Um, in downtown LA and all over the internet. But when Walmart is willing to sell dangerous cosmetics and they don't care, girl, can we say lawsuit? So just to educate people out there in case you do not know, a lot of this um, fake makeup comes from really dangerous and unsafe places. So I have seen um, some of this makeup tested. I've seen the results on the internet and there's rat poison in it. There's lead, there is cancerous ingredients and it is just so disgusting that there's actual people willing to make this. And also you're copying my exact component or you try to, cheaply of course. Um, you pretend to have the same formula but it's really disgusting. I've seen actual reviews where people have done um, comparisons of fake Jeffree Star cosmetics and the real thing. And I've seen people get their lips stuck together. I've seen people get chemical burns. It's like, oh my God, this is crazy. So the fact that Walmart, such a big corporation, is willing to let counterfeit companies sell on their website, I was like, bitch. So if you go on there, girl, Celebrity skin for $40, and then look at this, from two Christmases ago. We don't even make that anymore. That was literally two years ago. And you go on the Walmart site, and there is just so, girl. Hi, two summers ago, that doesn't exist anymore. So, long story short, I wanna do a video on my channel educating people about this. I'm actually going to go buy fake makeup, okay, that looks like mine, never thought there would be a day where I'd say that. And I'm gonna get it tested by a real chemist. I'm gonna try to fast track this shit and show you what exactly is inside counterfeit makeup. It is just so dangerous. And on top of that, okay, you're also copying, stealing our designs. Like it's just all so ugly and nasty. It's like we put so much hard work into our products and to try to flip it and make a cheaper version with disgusting ingredients and, and it's like mind blowing. It's like really sad. And I've seen people um, who buy that stuff and they get hurt. And I've seen chemical burns and crazy shit happen. And it's just like, is your health worth it? No. So my legal team has reached out to Walmart. We are waiting on a response. Um, it never ends, you guys. I had this issue with Ipsy. They removed all of the fake JSC stuff immediately, but Walmart is a huge corporation. They might not even give a fuck me, but bitch, I got a loud voice and there's millions of you watching this. Um, so we need to be heard. And this is really like sticking up for every other company that has to deal with this. A lot of the times these companies will deal with it behind the scenes. I know some big brands that spend millions of dollars a year fighting counterfeit and it is just such a sad problem. But I think that a lot of people need to be educated because there's people that really buy it and don't know how unsafe it is. So you guys, please be careful. 
And I agree. I totally agree with Jeffrey Girl. Fake makeup? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. I can understand, and I know I'm gonna get so much hate for this in the comments. I can understand a girl wanting to rock a little fake handbag. I understand that, okay? Because, I mean, hello. But to put make fake makeup on your face, girl? What if it burns your face, acid down the house? No, ma'am. So then, it didn't stop there. Jeff Star took, o took over to Twitter, girl. And this is what he said on Twitter. Dear at Walmart, allowing third party companies to sell counterfeit nasty fake makeup on your website is illegal. And also highly dangerous. My legal team has reached out and we want answers. Please subscribe to Rich Lux video, thumbs up, like it, leave a comment, love you so much. Girl, then he also said, just in case you didn't know, counterfeit makeup created to resemble and copy my packaging is made with deadly ingredients like rat poison and lead. I will prosecute any company willing to sell harmful products to the public. It's truly disgusting. I have bought several fake Jeffree Star products from a few websites and I'm having it tested by chemists to show you how deadly these products are. Video coming soon, lawsuit coming soon. And then he said, here's a link to my website so you can see the authorized retailer so in my makeup. And then he also said, thank you to everyone for sending me links when you guys spot this bullshit. I'm doing everything in my power to help make awareness of the serious issues of fake cosmetics. The fact that people are willing to make money knowing they're hurting someone's health is truly scary. Do you know what else is scary, girl? Be prepared for this one. Okay, so Kim, I was looking at Instagram, and I thought I was looking at another picture of Kim Kardashian, but it wasn't a picture of Kim Kardashian. It was a clone. It was a freaking Paris Hilton dressed up as Kim Kardashian, girl. Clock at the house. Clock it the house, girl. Clock it the house, girl. Yes, ma'am. That is Paris Hilton, girl. <gasps> what? And I started. To, I was like, why? What's going? What's going on, girl? What's going on? Well, it turns out, uh, I think Kanye or Kim Kardashian, whatever, they paid Paris Hilton to be like the spokesperson or advertisement for the new Yeezy shoes, girl. And you know, they just kind of made her look like, girl. My, you want my opinion? My opinion is Paris Hilton looks better than Kim Kardashian in those photos, girl. Yes, ma'am. So I was gagging because you know I'm like a Paris Hilton mega fan. I I, I love I love Paris Hilton so much. So when I saw it, I was like, come on, Paris Hilton, OG girl. You know, Paris Hilton is the first. Before the Britney, before the Lindsay Lohan, before Kim Kardashian, it was Paris Hilton the house. And don't you forget it, because I'll never let you forget it, girl. Kim Kardashian, Paris Hilton had a personal assistant. And you know who that personal assistant was? Kim Kardashian. Yes, ma'am. So when Paris Hilton would be walking around, shopping, shopping around, Kim Kardashian was in the back holding her bags, girl, trying to get in on the photos with paparazzi, girl. I'm telling you, girl, don't you forget that. Paris Hilton had a personal assistant and it was Kim Kardashian. Look how far she's come. Anyways, I think that's all the drama I have for you today. Anyways, that's all the drama I can handle for one day. I can only do a little bit at a time, okay? If you like the video, smash that like button, comment, rate, subscribe. If you don't like the video, send it to your busted ass haters, girls, and then watch it. They lost 10 minutes of their life. They'll never get back. And don't forget, I do have busted ass merchandise down below. So check it out if you want. And I'll see you next video. Peace. Bye. I love you so much.